Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a Lush, um, kind of like a stock up haul slash like a discontinue haul because in case you guys don't know, Lush is discontinuing quite a lot of their um, products. Like so this haul is all just like bath products, so like bath oils and everything like that, but they are discontinuing like quite a few of like ones that I really like and enjoy. So pretty much this is just like a stock up haul. Um, anyways, yes, I'm just going to get started kind of in no particular order. So as always, I'm just going to begin. So the very first bath bomb, this is called um, tang Tangri or Tangrini, something like that, Tangri, I guess. It's um, it's like the, the blue and the white, and I think that this one's going to be really, really pretty in the bath. It has a very fresh herbal scent. It smells kind of like it has like some eucalyptus in there, but um, yeah, I was super excited for this one. Next up, I will show you guys all of the bath bombs first and then do like the couple other items at the end. Next up, I do also have a strawberries and cream bath bomb. This one's got like the little like um, filling in the middle which makes it super moisturizing in the bath. And it's just so stinking cute. It's got the little leaf and then like the little seeds. This is a really good one too. Um, actually, I wish I would have bought more of these. It's got like a sweet, fruity, like kind of a strawberry-ish scent but not like super, super strawberry-ish even though it's called that. Anyways, next up, I do also have two. Um, this is called Geode. This one's got like the really pretty, it looks like a mineral. It's got, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like making a mess. It's got like the little, like um, the little purple gox on top. It's super pretty, super lustery. It leaves you like really like glittery. And then this one, I think this one has bergamot and it says lavender as well, although I don't really smell any lavender, but bergamot, yes. It's just like a nice, like clean scent. Um, so not too strong and the bath water is beautiful. So I love that one. Um, like there'll be like so much like glitter and luster in the bath with that one. So next up, I know I picked this one up in my last Lush haul, but I picked up another one. This is called the Dirty. This is just like a sweet spearmint scent. I really like anything with mint and then this one just left the water, a really nice color, so I thought I would get another one. I don't know if that one is um, coming back or like, I mean staying around or if that's just for Father's Day, so I just thought just to be safe, better to get it now. I also did get two of the Marshmallow World bath bomb. This is one of like my favorite bath bombs and I'm really upset that they're taking it away. This is like a sweet like cotton candy marshmallowy type of scent, like a vanilla scent. It's really, really nice. Again, the bath water is beautiful with it. Um, that's one of the ones I'm actually most sad to be leaving. Next up, I do have one called Kitsune. This one I've never tried before, but you know, I just thought that I would wanna try it before it was, you know, like taken away forever. It kind of looks like a little croissant. Or, I don't know, someone told me before that it's supposed to be a seashell, so I'm probably holding it upside down. I don't know, this way could also be a croissant. Maybe I'm just like a foodie. Anyways. Um, this has kind of like a woodsy scent to it. Not like super, super spicy, but definitely like woodsy, which is nice and perfect because it gets me in the mood for fall. Next up, I did also pick up two olive branch bath bombs. This one, <coughs> sorry, this one reminds me of like orange sherbet or something like that. Even like the watercolor, like the white swirls on top of the water, like the, the scent, everything like that. It's like a fresh scent mixed with orange. It's really, really nice. You know, everyone, just so you guys know, I'm just gonna be saying that about all of them because it's obviously an exciting haul. Um, next up, I did get Flight. I know, I think I also said in my last one that the scent was kind of odd on this. And honestly, the scent is kind of odd, but when it's in the bathtub, it like mellows out. This is like a fruity scent, but it's, it's like a little sour. It's almost like a sour fruit. Um, to me, but this one, the bath water is like super beautiful. So I was like, yeah, I think I need another before it's gone away forever. Next up, I did also pick up, this is um, the Rose Clay Salt Cube. I just thought that I would wanna get another one just because um, this one is really good after like a long workout or a long day or something like that. It really does like relax you a lot and like helps with like sore muscles. Yeah, so I thought that I would get this one too. Even though it doesn't say anything like that, this kind of reminds me of um, a fall scent too. It's got almost like an apple cinnamon type scent to me. So yeah, oh wait, no, that's not it for my bath bombs. I did also get, this is a Think Pink. This is like super, super crumbly and like falling apart. So I need to set it down. 
But again, this is like a sweet vanilla scent too. Um, almost like a sweet like vanilla candy type scent. Um, that's like a really classic one, one of like Lush's like original bath bombs, I believe. So, you know, just for like nostalgia and stuff. I also picked up two So White bath bombs. These are just like white. They smell just like an apple, like a crisp green apple. It doesn't change the water or anything. So to me, this is like a good one. Like if you just want like a, I don't know, like a daytime bath, just like a, a plainer, just calm, relaxing, no fuss type of bath. I really love apple scents though. So to me, I really like that one. And yes, okay, yes, now that's all my bath bombs. Now I'm going to do the bubble, bubble, um, bubble bars, bubble rooms, yeah, all the ones like that. This one is called Return to the Emerald City. This is like a green one, and then it's got like, like a macaroon style with like the little filling in between. This one's actually pretty big. To be honest, just so you guys know, I pretty much picked this one up only because I was reading the reviews on it, and multiple people said it smelled like Disney World, and I was like, what? So of course I had to smell it, and honestly, it does not remind me of Disney World. But that's okay. It's got like a mossy, like a green type of smell, like an herbal green, like wet grass outdoor smell. Um, people were saying that it's kind of like the Pirates of the Caribbean, like area. So I don't know. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Maybe they get that. I did not. But anyways, I'm still happy to try it, and I really like the ones with like the filling and that like leaves your skin super moisturized. And again, that one's pretty big, and I do like green baths. So. Next up, I did, I felt like I had to get two of these. This has also become one of my all-time favorite products, and I'm pretty upset that they're taking it away. This is called the Dirty, this, this is a reusable bubble bar. So for this one, pretty much you just hold this under the faucet, and then when you feel like you have a good amount of bubbles, you just, um, you just take it out, and then you leave it out to dry, and then you can reuse it like multiple times. I actually have a third one also already in my collection, but this is so good. First of all, it makes the water like this beautiful shade of pink, like an indescribable, perfect shade of pink. And then the scent is like a sweet, strong, spearminty scent. And I, I love anything mint. It really like clears the sinuses. It, it just, it makes me feel better. It uplifts me. It also relaxes me. I, I can't get over like the scent of mint spearmint, peppermint, any type of mint scents. So this is a favorite, I highly recommend it. And again, um, I really like the reusable bubble bars because you get a lot of bang for your buck. So next up, I will do a couple of the bath oils. So I am pretty upset because they are discontinuing pretty much every single bath oil. So yeah, I'm hoping that they're going to revamp them, but I guess we will have to see. So um, again, the first one I got, this is the polyamorous. This has got like the three little hearts. Um, these I can't hold for very long because they already start to melt. But okay, I think I said in my last video that I didn't actually really like that one. I think it has, I don't know if it's jasmine or I don't think it's jasmine. It's like another like floral type of scent that I'm really not too crazy about. But when I put it in the bath, because I already used the one from my last haul, when I when you put it in the bath, it like it really mellows out. It puts the water this like perfect shade of pink and everything like that. So sometimes like if you don't like it like outside of the bath, sometimes like the scent will like um I don't know, it like it's not quite so overbearing when you're in the bathtub. So I thought that I would get another one. And just in general the bath oils are some of my favorite products at Lush. Next up, okay, this is kind of like not an attractive sight, but it's okay. It melted some. This is the Double Vitality. This is the, um, there's like a cat hair on it and everything. This is the Double Vitality, the bath oil as well. This again has like a minty scent. So yeah, it's really strong, really relaxing. I did also, I tried to get two of them and then the other one is like super like melty and completely disfigured, but that's fine. When it's in the bath, it really won't matter. It's gonna melt anyways. Next up, I did get another, um, this is the Melting Marshmallow Moment. So again, this is like a vanilla type of scent. Um, it's not that strong, but like this is a scent I really like to use before bedtime. And again, in case you guys don't know, I often will cut the bath oils into two, um, sometimes even three. And it's also sometimes fun to like cocktail it and pair it with a bath bomb or um, a bubble bar or something like that, or even just to use them on yourself. Like you don't need to use the whole thing. Um, this is yet again one of my other entire like top favorite scents from Lush and I'm super sad about it leaving. This is the You've Been Mangoed bath oil. So I did get two of them. I don't know what's going on with this one either. Like this one's made weird or this one's made weird because they look a little different, but it's okay. Anyways, this one is like a really strong mango scent, like a bright citrus scent. I really, really like it. This is like one of my like top scents at Lush actually. And I'm extra sad about that one leaving because they don't have anything else in that scent. Um, now like my hands are all like 
oily and dusty and everything. I did forget one bath bomb. Um, I forgot to show you guys. This is not being discontinued. In fact, this is actually not what I ordered. I was able to do in-store pickup. Um, this is called the Floating Flower Bath Bomb, though. I think it has, like, lavender and chamomile. Um, it, it normally has, like, a bright, like, full, like, flower in the center, and this one's, like, super crumbly, and it's almost like the top and the bottom are almost two different shades of blue, but, you know, it's fine. Anyways, small story with this one. I actually ordered the Royalty Bath Bomb, the yellow one that looks like in the shape of a crown and then they accidentally gave me this one um and then the royalty one was not included but you know i'm not like that that picky and everything else is fine and i also really enjoyed this bath bomb so yeah this is like a really nice light fresh calming scent it's not like overly strong or anything like that it almost like like reminds me of like i don't know like I don't know. It's super nice. So if you want something like fresh, really relaxing, not too strong, that is the one to go for. And then the very last item, and again, one of like my most like upset things that I'm sad that they're taking away. So I did have to get three of them. This is the Milky Bar bath. Um, oh, no, 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 no. This is the Milky Bar soap. This is just a bar of soap. They do also have this in a bubble bar, though. Anyways, this is so cute. First of all, shaped like a milk bottle, and then, like, the top's, like, the little, like, silver glitter. This just smells like fresh laundry to me. It's, like, strong and soothing, and just, it's so wonderful. To me, this is like a really non-offensive scent. This will make a really good gift. They do also have this in the, um, I think now it's the reusable bubble bar. And yeah, so this is just the bar soap and I felt like I needed three of them in case they never bring it back again. So that is everything I got. So yep, if this video was a little bit jumbled and like all over the place, sorry about that. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys are staying safe and having an awesome day. Bye!